Welcome to my channel, Clemente Collector. Just hit a, tell me a story about your favorite autograph. Doesn't have to be your most valuable. I know I think Jake's done these before, but uh, I love autographs. Doesn't have to be baseball. Doesn't have to be anything, but I want to feel it. I want to feel the passion. Passion. I want to feel it. And for 22 seasons, Stan the Man played it as well as anyone. He was known for his ever present smile and for one of the sweetest swings in the game. Hey now, back with another video. Um, that's, a, that's a little shout out for the VR I'm doing. I'm doing a VR for Baseball Hall of Fame autograph. I just got turned on to his channel. Um, I was watching uh, Lou Rock's uh, channel yesterday and I, I saw he did a VR for him. I went over, checked him out. He's celebrating a thousand subs. Um, he's way past that now, but um, congratulations. Um, I watched I watched some of his new videos. I watched a Roberto Clemente autograph video that he did a while back. He he's he does a great job. Um I'm not an autograph guy, but I was very entertained. Um so I, I, I subbed him up. I um I look forward to future videos. Um and I'm excited to do this VR. Um I have a really great story to tell. So I hope you guys stick around and listen to it. Um it's not gonna be long, but um the story starts with my father-in-law. Um, he's, he's one of my closest friends. Um, great guy. Um, he's literally the, the cornerstone of our family. And he's the pastor of our church. And um, he, through, through being a pastor, he's met many people along the way. And because of that, um, an autograph baseball came into play. So to kind of give you guys a rundown, um, my father-in-law grew up in Western Pennsylvania uh, 15 minutes from where I grew up, um, and um, his family were all St. Louis Cardinals fans. Um, it started with his dad, and um, you know it, it went down to the kids uh, as it usually does. And um, his dad's favorite player was Stan the Man Usual. Um, Stan Usual is local to Western Pennsylvania, as most of you guys probably know. He's born in Denora. Um, he actually played. Um, he actually played baseball in Denora with Ken Griffey Sr.'s father. Um, so um, some people actually say Ken Griffey Sr. was the second best player to come out of Denora, obviously, because of Stan Musial. Um, so um, really great um, baseball town. Um, Denora is 10 minutes from me. Um, sometimes I'll drive over to Denora and they actually named the bridge Stan the Man Mutual Bridge. Um, it's such a, uh, he's such a big part of, of this community um, still. Um, and um, there's a baseball park for kids named after him. But back to my story. So my father-in-law is a pastor. He's been a pastor for over 20 years. And, and he came in contact with Stan Mutual's sister-in-law. So, Stan Musial actually married um, a girl from Denora. Um, he met her when he was 15, and her family obviously was still in Denora, and his sister-in-law started going to our church. Um, and she's, she's, she's amazing. I've met her multiple times. I went to, went ate dinner with her, um, and you know, other people in the church. And um, she's just so great. And um, as she got to know my father-in-law, she learned about his love um, for the Cardinals. Uh, my father-in-law's favorite player growing up was Lou Brock, um, just cause um, he liked how fast he was. Um, he just thought he was a great all around baseball player. But um, as she found out that my father-in-law liked Stan Musial so much, she wanted to gift him her Stan Musial signed baseball that she had that was given to her from Stan himself. So she did, um, and that's what I'm gonna show off today. And um, I'm very excited to show it off. Um, so the ball the ball looks, let's see if I can get a good here. It looks like a normal signature here, St. Louis Cardinals ball. But the amazing thing about this ball is what's over here. It says, a grateful Stan Musial. So I don't, I don't know if that's a one of a kind signature or how many times he did that. Um, but to me, 
what I was thinking is, as he got later on in life, um, he signed this ball for her. And that was the message he wanted to give is that he was grateful for everything that happened in his life. Um, you know, I can only speculate what the thought process was, but I know a lot of balls say stand the man on them, but this is a grateful Sam usual. And that's all to me, that's a one-on-one -on -one ball. Um, and that's just, that's just amazing. So I'm going to hold it right here as I finish the story. So, um, the great part about this hobby is as, as, as people, as people in your family find out that you're interested in the hobby, you start seeing things that you didn't know were within the family. I am, um, you know, recently my uncle gave me a lot of his memorabilia, but, um, about two months ago, my father-in-law said, you know, he was going to give this ball to one of his sons, but he said he saw how much of a passion I had for, for baseball collecting. And, and he just wanted this ball to be passed down to me because he knew how much it would mean to me. So he told me, this will be my ball. Um, he'll pass it down to me. So it just means a lot. Um, I, um, I obviously, I'm not looking forward to getting it. So um, <laughs> I don't know if this qualifies for the VR because I technically do not own this ball, um, but I, I'm fine with that. Um, and to end the story, my father-in-law actually, um, he drove my son out to St. Louis this summer and they went and saw a Cardinals game together. Um, first time my son got to see a baseball game. It was really cool and um, my my father-in-law just said to him, he said, um, and this was this was four months ago, this was in the summer. My father-in-law said to him, he said, um, you know, buy whatever you want. Um, he said, I want to buy my dad something, he likes baseball. And this is what I got from my, my son, the Cardinals baseball. So um, this will be in the family also. I just think, what's the chances he picked? This is the gift he picked out for me. Um, and... Um, I didn't even know about this until recently. So I got both of them. Uh, I'll have both of them and we'll, we'll keep these in the family. So um, Frank, I hope this uh, hope this qualifies. Um, good luck on your, your VR responses. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Uh, thanks guys. <laughs>